Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into a bunch of awesome packs for patrons. Today's patrons, we have Matteo Vanti, Miles Thornton Sherman, Sydney C, and a new patron, Casual Hobbies. Okay, so grabbing Lord of the Rings over here. We've got two Modern Horizons 2 for Matteo. And then four packs of Wilds for Miles and the remaining four here going to Sydney. All right, let's get cracking. Thank you for being a patron, Casual Hoppies. And the patrons, patron, the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck, along with the art cards and anything from the list. And we are off to a fantastic start here. We have Rosie Cotton of South Lane, so I'll chuck in the legendaries there. Escape from Orthanc, Isolation at Orthanc, Fire of Orthanc, Galadrum Bow, Shower of Arrows, and a Foil Swamp. Let's chuck that in. Art card is Gandalf the White. Along with a Spirit, Foil, Legolas, Counter of Kills, so another legendary. And the rare is Frodo Sauron's Bane. Along with Mirkwood Bats, Shire Sheriff. Is that still a Rebuck? Let's chuck it in. And Butterbur Bree Innkeeper. Okay, so scooping it up here for casual hobbies. And next up, I think we'll zip over here to Miles Thornton Sherman. Thank you for being a patron. Four packs of Wilds. So they do have things back to front here. This is a Japanese printed pack. We have Knight of Doves, Cheeky House Mouse, Quick Study, Water Wings, Frantic Firebolt, Aquatic Alchemist, and a Mountain Art Card is Unnatural Growth. Okay, so that would be a cool one from the Enchanting Tales. We've got Food and Leyline of Sanctity, Foil, awesome along with Stab Wound and a Mythic, Hilda of the Icy Crown. We will sleeve that up for you. Become Brutes and Spell Scorn Coven. Yeah, so I'm not sure of the value of this one. Could be a little on the bulky side, but we will sleeve it up just in case. On to the next, Wilds of Eldraine. Really enjoying this set. Lots of colourful artwork and fun mechanics. We have Archive Dragon, Up the Beanstalk, and I think that is over a buck now, so I'll chuck it in. Protective Parents, Bespoke Battle Garb, Grand Ball Guest, Skewer Slinger, a Foil Mountain, and Art Card is Court of Vantress. Alright, and next up... We got a mouse token. Ooh, I haven't seen that one before. Let's check that in. Foil Sir Armont the Redeemer and Leyline of Abundance. Okay, along with Twining Twins, Eerie Interference and Disdainful Stroke. Yeah, it's interesting. Some of these tokens usually, if you haven't seen them before, that means they're short printed and they tend to be worth a buck or two. Next up, we got Twisted Sewer Witch, Tattered Ratter, Archon's Glory, Titanic Growth, Spell Stutter, Obira's Attendance, and a Forest Art Card is Karmic Justice. All right, and we got a signature at the bottom of that one. Chucking in a rat token as well. Awesome. Foil Brave the Wilds and Impact Tremors for the. Enchanting Tales, we got Sir Ginger, the Meal Ender, that is an awesome card. Stone Splitter Bolt, Cheeky House Mouse to finish. Yeah, lots of rats and mice in this set. So if you want to build a deck around those, that is probably a viable option. Still working on mine personally. Next up we got Boundary Lands Ranger, Monstrous Rage, Frantic Firebolt. Unruly Catapult, Living Lectern, Aquatic Alchemist, and a Foil Forest. Followed by Leyline of Abundance. So we're getting all the Leylines today. 
We've got a nightmare token. Let's chuck that in as well. Foil hatching plans and curiosity along with Sentinel of Lost Lore. And Throne of Eldraine. Yes, there is actually a card named that. And Two-Headed Hunter. Yeah, so the first set in the Eldraine series, I guess you could say, was uh, Throne of Eldraine. Let's go for the Hilda for the best pull here. Next up, we have Matteo Vanti. Thank you for being a patron. Two packs of Modern Horizons 2. Let's go, the monkey. We have Chatterfang Squirrel General. So he is an awesome bloke indeed. We got a Mountain Unbounded Potential Break Ties, Artbound Prototype Foundry Helix, Rustvale vale Bridge, Artbound Slasher, and Thraben Watcher for the Uncommons. Glimpse of Tomorrow is the rare. We got another one, Goblin Bombardment, and Late to Dinner. Foil Sylvan Anthem. Okay, three rares in that pack. Not too shabby. Let's see what we get in the next one. Been a while since we pulled a Ragavan out of these. We have Shattered Ego. Yes, my ego is about to be shattered with the pulls out of this pack, I'm sure. We have a Plains Foul Watcher Aero Amoeba. Guilt Blade Prowler, World Wary, Turax Canticle, Cabal Initiate, Flame Blitz for the Uncommons. Ooh, and an Arid Mesa. We will take it. Let's sleeve it up. And a Mythic Cabal Coffers. What a pack. Chatterstorm, Foil Break Ties. And what is the list? Holy cow, that came out of nowhere. My ego is very much intact after that pack. Okay, let's grab some sleeves here. Very tasty pulls indeed. So Matteo, I think, made the right choice this month. Pop these in here. And next up, we have four packs of goodness for Sydney C. Thank you for being a patron. Let's hope we can continue the awesome pulls today. We have a Woodland Acolyte, followed by Minstrosity, Crystal Grotto, Kellen's Light Blades, Rhyme Fur Reindeer, a Foil Swamp. Art card is Doubling Season. Yes, I think we're yet to pull that from this set. We've got an Elemental, check him in, Foil Territorial Witch Stalker, and Dragon Mantle, along with a Mythic. Ashiok Wicked Manipulator. Awesome artwork. We'll sleeve it up. Picklock Prankster, Chancellor of Tales, and Ego Drain. So there's a couple of different variations in the artwork. One is a little more cartoonish and abstract. So there we go. We finally found Ashiok. I think I've only pulled, I'm going to say, two Ashioks out of the case so far. And we have one more box after this one. We have Graceful Takedown, Shrouded Shepherd, Commune with Nature, Feed the Cauldron, Scream Puff, Plunge into Winter, a Forest Art Card is Talion, the Kindly Lord, from the Commander decks, where on an adventure, Foil Stroke of Midnight, that is not too shabby, and Dawn of Hope, let's get it in focus. Along with Rotisserie Elemental, very tasty, Threadbind Click, and Tangle Span Lookout. We're on the final two packs here. Will we make it into the Greatest Hits playlist? I'll find out during editing. Link in the corner for the Greatest Hits in Channel History. Next up, we've got Sir Armont the Redeemer, followed by Red Tooth Vanguard Candy Grapple. Ice Out, Kindled Heroism, Frostbridge Guard, and a Forest Art Card is cooped up. We are all cooped up here. And yeah, the fairy is not amused by that. And from the list, we have Ravnica at War. Reprinted from War of the Spark. We've got a Foil Tenacious Tome Seeker and Prismatic Omen. Nice. Along with Mosswood Dread Knight. Restless Bivouac. Okay, three rares in that one. Or was that? That's four, actually. Wow. Royal Treatment, and that is it. On to our final pack here. 
hoping for the spiciest of spicy pulls. Let's go. We have a Galvanic Giant, followed by Flicker Coin, Cut In, Two and Veil Guide. Got a Plains Art Card. Is the Tortoise, Blossoming Tortoise. Awesome. And what else? A Magic Minigame, Winchester Draft. Flipping it around there so you can figure that out. Foil, Stingblade, Assassin. And Leyline of the Void, not too shabby. Dark Tutelage, Griffin Airy. How many uh, enchanting tales we got? And a mythic, Kellen the Fey Blooded. Let's grab the sleeves again. Howling Gale Fang and Storm Killed Vanguard. Okay, so I think we did pretty well today overall. So let's scoop this up. I'm gonna say. Out of these, probably, where is it? The Ace Shock was the best pull here. So enjoy those, Sydney. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.